In Forest Pack 8, we introduced the ability to scatter linked hierarchies. If you're not sure what a linked hierarchy is, in 3ds Max, the Select and Link button up here allows you to define a hierarchical relationship between multiple objects by linking them as child and parent. For example, in our Forest Pack 8 promo scene, the catapults are linked together to create a basic rig. The arm is linked to the frame, and the weight at the end is linked to the arm. If you move the frame, all of the components move together and this simple rig allows me to create an animation. In previous versions of Forest Pack, you'd have needed to group these together to scatter them, but in Forest Pack 8, you can now scatter linked hierarchies much more easily. To illustrate, in this example, we'll just add the frame, the parent of the hierarchy, to the geometry list in the usual way. To import the rest of the hierarchy, all you need to do is to enable this new Include Children option and the rest of the catapult is also scattered. One of the advantages of using linked hierarchies with Forest Pack is that you can animate the transforms of the children. As you've seen, our catapult is already animated. So to reflect that in Forest Pack, I just need to enable one of the many animation modes. For example, I could randomly sample the animation so they play back at different times. You can also randomize the transforms and the whole hierarchy will behave as though it's a single object. If for some reason though, you wanted each object in the hierarchy to be randomized independently, including the animations, you just need to uncheck this Keep Group Hierarchy option. We've got plenty more tutorials coming soon, so if you're not already a subscriber, please feel to sign up and we'll see you in the next one.